what are some of the ways that you know you can see us engaging and supporting youth, maybe using digital tools, but accessing and supporting youth who may not actually have access to, you know, to power, to connectivity, may not be able to afford data costs and, and so forth? It's very common um, in the sectors we, we, we work with to see some projects um, or some programs that involve like, um, let's say, a um, purchase of equipment, for example, whether we're talking about laptops, we're talking about smartphones, et cetera, et cetera. But at, at the end of the day, um, sometimes I ask myself is, do we think about the aftermath or do we think about how is that this going to be um, sustained when the project is over? This is one problem. A second problem, I've seen also project, we're talking about young people, okay? So they're going to be young and there is nothing wrong about that. But sometimes also when those equipment are put at their disposal, they use it for something else. They use it to surf the internet. They use it to go on YouTube. They use it to go on, to go on Facebook. I mean, they cannot be blamed. I mean, this is also part of being young and, and staying informed. But I think... Um, so as far as literacy is concerned, it's, it's a barrier, but it's definitely a, bi a barrier that can be, um, that it's easy to go around because even the people who are not very literate, when you see what they're able to do with their smartphone, whether we're talking about uh, WhatsApp or Facebook or any other social media, it's, it's remarkable. But I think we should, um, we should also um, be, um, those young people, I think they need, we need to have a frame also, like some kind of an advocacy or a frame that kind of, let's say, um, explain to them what should technology, what, what are like the advantages of, of technology. When we give equipment um, to those young people and we're trying to have them um, use technology and data to improve whether it's lifestyle or if there are conditions and, 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 and whatever, I think the capacity building component should also include a capacity component on um, digital innovation, how can it help, but also what could be like the potential danger 